So, what happened in that hospital with Kate Middleton when the operation took place? What went wrong? And where are we now? The Spanish press are still speaking and they're not holding back. Hey guys, it's Moral Broly. Hopefully you guys are holding well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button guys. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I say my name very quickly. I shouldn't. My name is Murad Morali. There we go, guys. Now, let's get into this where Concha is, you know, continuing to speak. There was a lot of information in this very long interview that she did. And I just wanted to break it down in three different segments so we can effectively look at everything. The first part was the halftime holiday was leaked and it was fake. And, you know, there she is in a very grave, you know, position is what they're reporting. Second video was discussing the other leaks that took place in regards to the secretary and with the, in relation to Charles, you know, diagnosis and these old pictures people like to put up. And this video is to discuss what took place in that hospital from what she knows. Now, Concha is claiming all of this stuff, the allegations, of course. Um, this is all coming from her in the Spanish journalists and press. But she is claiming that she knows information from somebody within the, within the palace, an aide, obviously. And I, I'm not surprised. An aide is seeing all of this going on and is sworn to secrecy. They can't be secret, you know. There's shocking stuff going on behind the scenes. This is all true. She's claiming when it comes to the last hours in the hospital, the doctors, of course, were panicking. And this whole situation also refutes any mental breakdown that she's had. That's probably not the reason. They are stating, and they said this before, but they're going into more detail now, Concha, that, you know, the post-operative situation took place and that is where the issue is. The surgery was successful, but evidently not so. The doctors had made mistakes. Something, somebody had made a mistake and the doctors were panicking and they had to make a last minute shocking decision to medically induce her into a coma. And therefore they did not know what else to do. She also re, um, alludes to the fact that Kay could still be in a coma, which shocked the shit out of me. She still could be in a coma. She said, of course, somebody falling into a coma and somebody being medically induced into a coma are two separate things. I want people to really understand that they're medically two entire different things. If you are medically induced, it's to help you, you know, heal quickly and then you can be taken out. If you fall into a coma, we don't know how long you can be there for. They're two very different things. So she said the doctors had were shocked. Um, you know, they, mistakes took place, last minute stuff, um, and therefore had to place in a medically induced coma. She also says that, you know, um, she alludes to the fact that, you know, Kate could still be in a coma and that when they have new information of her waking up or any kind of way. So that to me is interesting that the doctors, of course, panicked post-operative situations is where the mistake took place, placed into a medically induced coma. They don't know how long she's going to be in there for. And for the fact that they're covering all their tracks with all these lies and leaks, pretending her moving around. And the fact that, you know, her giving us new information about how doctors in the hospital were panicking and had to make last minute decisions and were shocked to me is just very concerning. Very concerning that, you know, we're listening to the moments of what allegedly took place in this hospital with the queen to be and how the fact that the doctors and stuff kind of messed up. So this has really come out of nowhere in the past couple of weeks. I'm gonna place these clips in there and make this video short and sweet, but I wanted to get into this to really understand the anxiety of these doctors and the atmosphere when post-operative situations went wrong when it comes to Kate. That then refutes the, the conspiracy theory or the narrative that she had a mental breakdown and went into hospital. Um, they're saying it was a, um, the surgery was fine, it was after the surgery what took place, and that Concha will provide new information if it comes to. And an alarming part she said in the early interview that we discussed is that there was more that's taking place, but we can't talk about it right now. As far as I'm concerned, I ain't heard about no lawsuit Buckingham Palace is throwing at the Spanish press for defamation. And they've got all the money to do so if they want to, but they haven't done anything. You can make up that what you will. Subscribe, click that button, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.